This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the CEO of Silver Hammer Mining, Mr. Morgan Lextrom. Morgan, how are you today? I'm great, Gerardo. How are you? I am well. Thank you so much for asking and thank you so much for coming on. Let's get right into it. You had some news yesterday that I don't think the market fully appreciated. Let me read the headline and then I'll ask you to provide a bit of context. The headline read, Silver Hammer reports phase one drill results and confirms significant gold-silver mineralization below old mine workings at Silver Strand. That headline I thought was well, well, it was well put, but I don't think that the market got it. I know we're in a tough uh, silver environment right now. We both expect that to change. I would love for you to explain kind of the company's thesis going into this drill program and, and why the company feels that you actually exceeded the expectation coming into this, this, this test of that thesis that you've had all along in frankly, such a short amount of time, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the thesis behind what we were looking at was Silver Strand had been a past producing mine and they mined 90 meters vertical into the mountain. They actually never mined technically below the lowest surface level, which is the access portal number three, which we use to rehabilitate and put a drill in. And we were like, okay, let's, let's test the theory that the mineralization continues below that level and let's drill it out. And we're like, okay, well, we know there's gold and we know there's silver. Let's, let's see what we get. And, and we, were, we were elated to find that we we're getting 25 meter wide zones of high, highly solidified quartz. We were getting 15 and a half meter zones carrying consistent gold of over a gram. And these are all within 30 meters of surface. So we were getting 8.8 .8 grams gold, 394 grams silver, multiple, multiple hits of multiple meters. So... You know, when, when you're trying to understand a mine, the, the old adage and something Lawrence Ralston told me a long time ago, near surface ore is worth much more than deep ore. So you got to remember, the, the mines in this area have gone down to 1,800 plus meters. Mm -hmm. They don't actually get silver rich until the 300 plus meter mark. We're 30 meters below surface, 30. So you want to start comparing to other companies just because we're drilling from an underground right now doesn't mean anything in the fact that we're only 30 meters below surface. That is an impressive number to get these grades. I've worked in mines all over the world. Those numbers don't happen until deep. You know, many, many hits at five grams a ton gold, five and a half grams a ton gold, um, you know, multiple 200 to 300 grams per ton uh, silver, like, you basically would be mining for gold to get the silver. Agreed. And look, let me read some of uh, the highlight intercepts, right? There was uh, one that was 4.57 meters of 89.76 grams per ton silver, 1.13 grams per ton gold. Again, as you mentioned, all of these are at very, very shallow depths. There was another intercept of 1.83 meters of 593.93 grams per ton silver equivalent. Another one of, you know, 7.93 meters of 209.85 grams per ton silver equivalent. Um, you know, the million dollar question, what comes next, Morgan? What comes next for us is, is we proved the thesis now. We are, like I said, elated that all six of our drill holes, every single hole had gold and silver mineralization and, and, and very good. Um, the next steps are we, we want to keep exploring. We want to understand the data and we want to go down to depth using that existing drill base. So that capital that we put in allows us to go back in there. I mean, I just got off the phone with the forest service. They're happy. They're really happy with what we're doing. They are on board with us getting going again. So we have the ability now to explore at a very high return on investment. So going into that existing underground, we can go two to 300 meters deep now with that existing cutty. We can look at putting in more drill cutty. So there's so many things that can be done with that existing underground to prove this out. Plus, now that we're seeing this mineralization, having people like Ron Burke on going, saying to us, going, there's no way there's not other paralleling veins. 
Like it's very uncommon to see only one vein like this. So now we're, we're really excited to start looking for multiple paralleling veins as well. This thing could get big fast. You answered my next question, which was going to be that, you know, you've recent, you recently strengthened the board. You mentioned that you've worked at mines all around the world. Ron, obviously, his track record is, you know, it speaks for itself. My question was going to be, how is the team feeling about being able to drill at depth, given the fact that you're getting these types of grades at, again, you know, we're talking, you're drilling down to 24 meters, 47 meters, 36 meters, 17 meters. So got to be excited to drill further. Oh, absolutely. The whole, the whole team um, is excited. We were, we were digesting the data and we got the assay results and we we're like, Oh, Hey, we hit it. Hey, there's gold. Hey, there's silver there. And, and if you look at the charts and the press release, you can see, as we started to go down, the actual grade to silver got better. We had 392 grams. We had 284 grams as we started to get lower and we, we actually expanded the area. So, you know, when, when people like Ron Burke, get excited on the phone and Lawrence Ralston get excited on the phone. You know, it excites me as a, and as the, you know, the leader of the company and then the team, I look at it going, okay, we now have a, a gold silver system here. We have a 5.5 kilometer um, land package and strike. There is, there are many opportunities to, to explore and drill out a lot more anomalies on surface and also continue with that underground method because that allows us to explore much quicker from a permitting standpoint, as well as an ROI standpoint. We have very great contacts in the Coeur d'Alene district that finish this work under budget ahead of schedule. And I'm looking to do that again and again. Excellent. What's the treasury look like? Treasury is standing really great, actually. We, uh, we, our last financials were 2.8. Um, and we were burning about 400 grand a month during our drilling, three to 400 grand a month. And we stopped, obviously, now. And we are set really well to continue with the program in, um, in 2022, but also noting that warrants have started to come in. So there's a level of self-funding that's been happening. An excellent way to end 2021. I'm excited for 2022. I'm looking forward uh, to seeing you and the team methodically drill this project out. Morgan, thank you for your time. Anything to add to that? No, I, you know, it, you said it really well. And one thing we look forward to as a company is, is advancing Silver Strand and, and getting that down to depth and proving the multiple veins and large potential resource there, that multi hundred million ounce resource that we think could be there. But also, you know, remind to remind your listeners, we have two other potential tier one projects in the pipeline as well that we're going to be looking at doing work on. So we're in it. I think we're highly undervalued as a company being that we're new. And uh, we have some highly high potential projects. Looking forward to 2022. Enjoy the holidays, Morgan. Thanks again. Thank you very much.